Sky watchers got a treat earlier this week thanks to a massive solar ejection. The Aurora Borealis was visible in Bloomington and just under a year from now, another rare celestial event will grace the skies over southern Indiana. On April 8, 2024, Bloomington will be one of the best places to view the next total solar eclipse over North America. Molly Murphy has this report. In less than a year, Bloomington's population could double from people coming into town to be in the eclipse's path of totality. The last total solar eclipse across the U.S. was in 2017. But Bloomington was outside the path of totality and has not been in an eclipse's direct path in over 150 years. Inside the path, the alignment between the sun and the moon and you, the observer, is exact. Uh, and so the moon completely covers the sun and you're in the moon's dark shadow. It'll take over an hour for the eclipse to reach totality, which will begin around 3.06 p.m. and only last four minutes and three seconds. Once the, the sun's crescent becomes a real thin sliver, uh, it's getting noticeably dark. Uh, the sky is darkening and it darkens to the point of twilight. And so you can see the brightest planets that happen to be out. For this eclipse, Venus will be unmistakable. It's so bright. Uh, and Jupiter will be very bright, too. There's so much to see during an eclipse that Feinberg says enthusiasts like him keep going back to see more. He says the sun's corona is the coolest part to see during an eclipse. So you see the shape of the sun's magnetic field. You'll see uh, loops and you'll see uh, long streamers and you'll see little hair-like spikes at the north and south poles. And it's really uh, exceptionally dramatic and beautiful. Solar eclipses, they're not at all rare. They occur somewhere on Earth every six months, but in 2024, North America will be the only continent to get a total eclipse. And that'll be the last one we'll see here until 2044, which makes Bloomington one of the places to be next April. Our division knew that we should take this seriously because following the 2017 eclipse, just a month after that one finished, we started getting phone calls at our inns and lodges for people wanting to re make reservations for 2024. Lake Lemon is in the center of the path, and Riddle Point Park on the lake will be one of the best places to view the eclipse. Visit Bloomington, Bloomington's Tourism Information Center, is already adding eclipse events to their online calendar. This will be a huge boon, uh, not just for Visit Bloomington, but for the hotels, for the restaurants, for the small businesses in town, uh, for the university, for everybody. Even if it's just for a four minute event, we wanna try and keep them around for several days. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Molly Murphy. And keep an eye out for more information in the coming months for more about events planned for the eclipse.